And they said I'd need armor for this. Let's put it on anyway. Oh my god, I've just seen how many are coming. Come to Australia, you might accidentally get killed. <laughs> G'day mates and welcome to Australia. This is a game all about fighting the local wildlife and I wish I was bloody joking, but it's true. We're gonna get in and uh, we're gonna see what this game has to offer. I played like nine minutes of this, kind of see if it was total dog shit or just like, you know, a kind of hidden gem and... Yeah, I think this is worth playing. I don't know why, but this intro just reminds me so much of Viet Cong, the old shooter. Why do so many games remember you that? But like, just the whole like, terrible little jeep taking you in on a little uh, pre-planned route. Fun fact, hunting's still pretty bloody popular in Australia of all things. A lot of the kangaroo meat you can get from the stores is hunted. You have traveled to the Outback to take work at the local pub. So first things first, we gotta do the tutorial, which involves just running around this town doing various things. Pistol ammo? <laughs> Find that in a box. Oh, oh, there we go. I've just drunk some fuel. There we go. Didn't realize I was from Broom. Nothing left but fumes now. Both the people and the cars in Broom run on those. How's it going? Oh, how's it going, though? Yeah, say good day to the doc, eh? You know he's a doc because he's just got a fucking esky full of, full of medical supplies on the table. Yeah, all right. I, uh, I'll get myself a bandage, why don't you? And uh, give myself a stamina elixir. Yeah, okay. Bit of mozzie guard. Uh, that'll do me. Bloody magpie stole the keys again. Gotta go find the keys. Oh uh, yes, source ladders. Excellent. <gasps> hey, it's Red! Red Dog, how you doing? Red Dog is a brilliant movie and you should all go watch it. So you go, this is how you travel around Australia. This is something that really got me, is you can actually just travel across the whole of Australia. You can get a beverage. Kimberley, you can go to Uluru. There's a place where me and my old man used to go for runs, right? And it's, just, it's, it's really quite weird. It's basically a fenced-in area, like, you know, there's a suburb, right? But there's this fenced-in area of forest in the suburb, and there's kangaroos in the fenced-in area. The kangas are kind of chill as long as you're just kind of running past, right? So, you know, you're just, just jogging along, right? And the kangaroos are off the side of the track just looking at you. And my old man just runs up and just pats a kangaroo on the way past, because the kangaroo thought he was just going to keep running. <laughs> and this kangaroo's like, oh, what the fuck? I just got patted. It freaks out. It was good fun. Big things, those bastards. G'day. Hey, mate. How you doing? Uh, God, would you look at what we've got here? We've got an SLR. We've got the shotgun. The uh, Lee Enfield, the pump action. Why is that one? Oh, that's, all, that's worth a lot less. Okay, gotcha. So I can actually get one of the guns, or I can get a pistol and a uh, and a double barrel. Modified for landmines? What the fuck? All right, Ethel, we old slut. I'm here to fix your antenna. There we go. Nice work. Fifty bucks. Oh, how are you, Nev? Damn, Nev, you got a theme song. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck are you? They live beneath Lake Disappointment. Oh, great, we've got the rat quest. What an RPG. I got my pistol, I got my sawn off, and I got my bowie so I can remake Wolf Creek. Ah, ah fuck, he bit me! <laughs> oh, that was, uh. I really removed my problem, huh? Oh, what the fuck? The Kangas are going me now! Fucking Christ! Why'd you go me, mate? Old Skippy. Reminds me of that old Aussie that had the channel where he was touring Australia with the goat. And he, he was kind of fucking crazy. I'll give it to him. The dude was like, hey, you should drink your own piss. It, it's good for your health. He, he was touring Australia with his goat. So, you know, um, I wouldn't expect him to really be in the right state of mind. Yeah, yeah how are you, mate? Oh, you're dumpster diving. Nice yeah, work, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gary's goat? Yeah, you know Gary, do you? There'll be a wrapping paper. There'll be a box. There'll be wrapping paper over that, and then there'll be more wrapping paper, and that'll be in this other plastic thing. And if you reckon that's bad, try shagging a Japanese chick. You gotta wear about seven condoms. I obviously only put on six twice. Anyway, now I was gonna say at one point at the water ski club, right, we uh we had a big wasp nest infestation, right? You know, it was up there near where we uh, get our gear out. <laughs> and one of my family friends whipped out a lighter and a spray can, just went up to say go <sighs> Fucking burn the thing alive. I'm amazed he actually got it too. Oh my god, Red Dead Redemption, eat your heart out. Look at this. Ready, and pull. Bounty five bucks. All right, let's pan for gold. I don't really know if other places do this, but fucking, it's quite common in Australia to pan for gold. Okay. Gotta pan out most of the rocks to find the gold. Oh god. Oh, fuck me, I found $49 worth of gold. Not bad. All right, Nelly, back to town. Let's shoot a few more animals in the way. Hey, uh, I don't actually know how to fly this. Oh, wait, can I? No way. Come on. How do I go down? How do I go down? See? It's all right, neighbor. I'm just hunting your goat. Got him. God, he was hard to hit. Oh, there's another one. 
Oh, I got that one. Reel her in, reel her in. There we go. Six dollars. That was awful. Never doing this again. Now it's dark and I have to get back home. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, let, let's go for a hunt, would we? Oh, shit. We're in the vehicle section now. All right, speed up, mate. Jesus. Oh, we hit the cut. Awesome, mate. Just keep running them over. That's doing a great job. Oh, here you go. Old Skippy's going me. Got him. Yeah, there we go. Got a drink. Nice. All right, now I can actually regen. Finally. You know, the scary part is I've been walking in the outback for a while and I haven't seen a single animal yet. The moment I go to a town, I get accosted by like 30 trying to kill me. Hey, what the fuck are you? What the fuck? No, no thanks. Those are ants, right? God, it's so hard to tell. I think they're ants. I'll have to stop like in the video and check. I'm pretty sure those are bloody ants. Hey, is that a wombat or is that a koala? I can't tell. Let me pop him. Oi. You better not. You better not. Jesus, he fucking threw me. Oh, wait, there's two of them. That's why. What the fuck? Jesus. Squad tactics. Got him. You actually have to lead your shots in this game, which is fuck. Not what I was expecting. You want to goat me? Damn right you don't. Jesus! Fuck me! Christ, he's a drop bear! Fuck! It wasn't a koala, it's a fucking drop bear! Get off of me, you dirty cunt! That scared the fucking shit out of me. That actually fucking got me. Of all the animals I thought they'd have in here, I didn't reckon they'd have drop bears. I don't know why that just slipped my fucking head. Wow, okay. That's a forest fire. Oh, that spreads. Oh, that spreads rapidly. Oh, shit. Up oh, rain. Get fucked, idiot. Oh, hello, Skippy. Oh, I fucking nailed him with a spear. Man, the spear's a one-hit kill. It ain't bad. Hey, man, I've uh, been to some bad places. Yeah. Broad meadows. Oh, look at this. Like a militiaman on the Kokoda Trail. Ooh, very nice. Don't know why it's only got five rounds. It's a little odd. Nail him. Yeah, 25 meters. And he's on fire. All right, fuck. Yeah, I'll come back for that spear later. This is honestly just bloody Melbourne weather. Like, <laughs> thunderstorms one moment, bright and sunny the next. I'd like to point out, by the way, this is on the lowest critter setting and the lowest difficulty setting, as in they're the least angry at me and they're the least numerous and there's still this many of them. What the fuck are you? You're a willow the wisp. So those yarns are true. Yeah, mate. There's currently shit chasing me. Let me in. Take me to a place, mate. Take me to a place. What the fuck? This is Australian stalker. Mate, we're in a uh, we're in Australia, are we? Oh, okay. You've taken me to a strange place. New South Wales. I don't like it. Fuck me, it's a flock of glass! This is a noise that every Aussie's bloody heard. Jesus Christ. I wish I had a shotgun. What the fuck are you? Is that a fucking deer? Hang on a second, what? Am I going insane? Get out of here, Halo 3 rat. Hang on a second. We don't have stags in Australia, do we? Oh, shit. We do actually have deer in Australia. I don't think I've ever seen one ever. They were introduced, apparently. Holy shit, I actually had no idea we had deer in Australia. Pour a cup of coffee. Better make it a strong one. Bow, bow. When the man on the radio says it's gonna rain and it's gonna blow, but it'll be alright, it'll be alright, it'll be alright in the long run. Why does this feel like I'm playing in Mad Max? Like bloody post-apocalypse Australia? It's really kind of creepy, honestly. People have been asking for Fallout Australia, and I think this game is, is just that, honestly. This is what you'd be dealing with, and just throwing a couple of bogans with guns and then problem solved. You've got Fallout Australia. Why is it so abandoned and creepy here? Just like put some workers around at least, Jesus. Oh, I need any venom. Hang on, I got that. I got it. There we go. Nice stuff. Don't just smear that in my fucking eyes. Thanks, bro. Uh, we're being pursued. I got him, Nelly. I got him. Don't you worry. You hear that, Nelly? That's a victory didge. God, this map is actually huge. I didn't realize, like, this is just the entirety of Australia, but I can cross it all. Hey, there's Uluru! 
I can navigate via that. Oh, it's a stray cow. All right, I'll muster him back in. Go on, mate. Go on. Go on. Go on, get. Go on, mate. Yeah, I've, I've played Bloody Mountain Blade. Come on. Oi. Oi, no. No, go on. Go on, get. There's an old cry my, uh, my family used to do their, their farmer's uh, dairy. And, uh... God, I don't know how I can do this without peeking the mic, but well, they used to shout it by all riding the quad bikes around. They used to go... Moo! Like that, really loud. I can't really... I don't want to do it like as loud as I can, because I'm in my fucking house right now. I've got neighbours. But, uh... It's just that, like, at the top of your bloody lungs, and it goes for a while. And that makes the cows go. <laughs> I never realised how loud I could really be until I was out, to uh, I was doing paintball marshalling. That was it. Like... You don't get, like, how quiet you really are. Like, you actually, you quiet yourself a lot. And you never truly shout at the top of your lungs. Like, that's a different level of volume to what you think shouting at the top of your lungs actually is. And uh, I did that a lot at Paintball Martian where I had to, you know, yell over a bunch of bloody markers firing and, you know, get everyone in the field to hear me. And just realizing, like, God damn, I really can shout loud enough that everyone in my field can, like, clearly hear me. Bloody hell. Well, wow, I really got the entire fucking task force after me, don't I? Hey, why don't you taste fire, dickhead? Yeah, I'll start a new forest fire, don't you worry. Oh, I can toggle strafe with the helicopter so I can, like, roll the helicopter. Or turn the helicopter. And I can also, if I press middle mouse button, lean out. Oh my god, you can actually hunt from the chopper properly. That's fucking cool. Why does this game have so many cool mechanics? Like, I, I, I was not expecting to have helicopters going into this thing. Alright. Sap cunts. Just brought the chopper to the local pub. Thankfully, I can just land it real hard because it doesn't actually take any damage. Alright. Sup. Hey, Nev, I need a new spear, mate. I lost it. I had a fight with a uh, Kanga. Oh, no. That wasn't a fight with Kanga. It was a fight with a bushfire. That's what it was. We're playing that bloody... Uh, what was that flight game we had to, like, rescue people or something? Like, emergency operations or whatever? Where you were a... Uh, you just had to play, like, different rescue pilots. Okay, here we go. Let's see. How do I do this? Oh, just fly it over. Okay, done. Well, I'm at it, might as well get some hunting in. I'm just playing logistics and armor right now. Doing the sling load. Fuck me, look at Uluru. Jeez a beauty. There's Uluru too. Wasn't it successful? Yeah, coming in, mate, coming in. Yep, yep, all right, mate, yep. And down she goes. Problem solved. Oh, hang on, I gotta inspect the cargo. Yeah, that's, that's definitely cargo, mate. All right, see you around. Hey, oh shit, you're a camel. That's what you are. Yeah, we got a lot of these in Australia. Well, way, 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 way in the outback. But but yeah, we got camels in Australia. Fucking hell. Hello, Mim Mim. How are ya? Yeah? You want to be friends? You want to get my helicopter? Hmm. I think I just cheated the game because I, uh, I tried to use a Mim Mim in a helicopter and I don't think I meant to do that. Let me I get fucked. Whoa! Oops. You may have lost weapons and items. Yeah, mate, I ended up in a fucking helicopter crash, right? I think I got lost a little bit more than that. It's my first death, actually. It wasn't thanks to the animals, it was thanks to my drunken helicopter piloting. What did I lose? Oh, cunt, they took my rifle. One thing I actually wanted. Time to let this semi bang. Where are we headed? Oh, hang on. Oh, I see you. Watch out, Ethel. He's going through your backyard. Nailed him. Shit, it's a bloody emu. Come on, mate. Come on. Fucking nail him. Yeah. Got the bar. Only seven bucks, really? Fuck me, you're big. Oh, God, he was fat. Oh, here we go. The dog patrol's here. Oh, here we go. Listen, if I have to fire through an entire crowd of Australian wildlife in order to protect myself, I will. Oh, no. There we go. I knew something be on top of Uluru. All right, what have you left in there for me, eh? I hate it here. I actually hate it. I'm get back in the chopper. Oh, hey, there's Tasmania. All the way down there. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. I can actually drive it. All right. This week on Australian croc hunting. Oh, fuck. We go fast. Holy shit. Mate. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
I saw you. Oh, I don't like. I don't like stopping. I don't like stopping. Actually, you know what? I'd like. I'd rather keep going. Let's just focus on driving, eh? Oh, nice little crab pot. Worth twenty bucks. All right, let's go. Oh, that animation scares me. The amount of time that animation takes. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. What the fuck? Um. That wasn't fair. Now look, I might not be the smartest man alive because I have taken a chopper in to go steal croc eggs. So, it's gonna be something else. And it's now on fire. God hates me. As we all know, God hates Australia. <gasps> what? Yo! Marked rocks that are close. Okay. Reckon I can nail me a croc? <laughs> Woo! Right between the eyes. Gotcha, you fat bastard. Look at him. Crazy Joe's in a Ben and Shack at the top of the gorge. There's a stash of dynamite. You Here's the key and you better have a detector. Oh, bloody hell. What What do you mean? Oh, these pricks. These pricks trying to stop my exploitation of their video game. There's definitely a landmine right there. Listen. Fuck me! It's a fucking drop there! Got him. Why do I keep getting bounties when I'm just walking? Are the animals falling to their deaths and it's counting as my kills? Oh, that's just a landmine, like, right there. I swear to God, there is just shit. Alright, so fun fact. Animals can, in fact, trigger the landmines. Right, let's just ride my horse out of here, why don't I? I'm sure I won't hit a land. Nelly, you good? I'm gonna need you, Nelly. Need you, Nelly. Alright, let's go. Round two. My horse makes me immune to landmines. You reckon I could survive the drop? Regen elixir, stamina elixir, swim time! Dead instantly. Hey, opals! There we go. We pay for some gems that he hasn't heard, been heard from for a while. Alright, let's go, uh, grab a full mozzie guard. Uh, that'll do me. Side is locked up. Find a way in underground. Oh, this is... Oh, dear. Oh, no. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, oh. Got him. Got him. Yeah, fuck off, mate. Yeah, I got fire. Fuck you, cunt. God, there's a lot of you. Or I'm leaving. Fuck this shit. Whoa, me fucking god. The worst part is I can feel spiders on myself right now. What? Can't you feel them too? Okay, I hated this place. Let's go. Hey, can I leave through the gate now? You mean I gotta go back th Oh no, hang on. What if I can just parkour out of here? Hang on. Yeah, fuck yeah, parkour. Oh, fuck going back through there. You're bloody kidding me. Have I found the coast? Well, shit, would you look at that. Sounds like a job for Lewis. All right. Armor and quality elixirs will come in handy. Piece of Ned Kelly's armor. 150 bucks for the helmet. All right. Fun fact about the spear. It seems you can attack about as fast as you can click. Which actually makes it, considering it's a one-shot weapon, makes it pretty good. Ned Kelly's armor can be worn to greatly reduce damage uh, when attacked, but it also reduces sight and movement. You cannot run, jump, or aim using weapon slots for wearing it. Press Q and select armor. Oh my god, I've got it. Yeah, baby! Bring it on, you rat bastard. Yeah! Check the shed for Lewis. Is he in here, or is it just his gun? In 1932, Australian soldiers armed with Lewis guns were employed in the Great Emu War against a growing population of emus ravaging crops. They lost. The major in charge of the operation commented, If we had a military division with the bullet carrying capacity of these birds, it would face any army in the world. They could face machine guns with the invulnerability of tanks. They are like Zulus. The real answer is just they, they couldn't chase after the emus once they fired the gun because the emu just ran away. That's that's actually what happened. It was just a shitty hunting expedition that then someone mocked in the media and ever since then only one joke has ever been told about Australia. You lazy fucks. Jesus! Yeah, alright, they're pretty numerous. 
Mate, fuck off. You bat bastard. The bloody Lewis ain't bad. Can I? Oh yeah, it's a proper machine gun. Very nice. And they said I'd need armor for this. Let's put it on anyway. Oh my god, I've just seen how many are coming. This is basically just the end of Halo Reach. Come on! Nelly, watch out! They're coming for ya! Ah, fuck, what's got me? Oh, it's a rat! You rat bastard, couldn't even see ya! Oh! Oh shit, they're going for me! Switch the SLR! Let him have it! Jesus Christ, alright? They're actually fucking me up! Grenade! Oh fuck, I might have killed myself there! I don't know if I got the fucking ammunition for this! Give me the, uh, SLR, give me a regen. There's one as well. Alright, nice. Mate, thank God for Kelly. Oh. Jesus. All right, can I take the armor off and get a run on? Good. I mean, if I was smart, I'd just, you know, climb on something and then laugh. But, you know, I really want to, I want to give these emus a fair chance. Jesus. A couple of SLR shots to put him down. Ah! Glorious victory. Oh god, they all just start dropping dead. Well, I'm quite glad I got a fucking Lewis gun now. Let me go see what the other mission is, and then let's go reload the Lewis gun. I think I, uh, think I'm done for the day. What's the next mission? I'm not sure it can get better than that. Let's go. Razorback? Oh no, this one looks like a horror. Oh, 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 um, oh, I'm gonna go check this one out. But I know I said I was done, but I gotta check at least this one out. What the fuck is going on? Hello? Did I just get attacked by the wind? Sure, nothing's gonna go on here. This doesn't look like an incredibly creepy location at all. What the fuck? What? The actual fuck? I hope this is all just like... Kangaroo blood that's meant to be here. Cause this is kind of fucking uncomfy. Jesus Christ, how many of them are you? Jesus, fuck off. Oh, fuck that. Oh, I hate that. God, I really am just fucking murdering. Dicko, mate. What? That's, uh, that's not a bunyip. That's a big fucking pig. Thankfully, I brought a Lewis gun. <laughs> oh. Found ya. Wow! Raise a glass to Dicko. Fucking hell, you were tough to kill. There we go, the next job is actually Bunyip. So uh, we tackle that next time if people want to see more of this game, if this video does well. If you did like it, drop a like. I don't think I ever really say that, but I honestly fucking really like this game, and I reckon it's fun to watch. It's, it's a weird, wacky... The biggest thing, it's a creative game. I thought it was going to be like, oh, you know, what is it going to be? We just, like, murder animals, and then, you know, that's it. Like, the fact that it has, like, a storyline... And it's actually like playing through. Honestly, fair play to him. This game is just fucking good. Like as an indie game, this is just really good. I don't know much fucking how much does it cost? Hang on. It's 20 USD, so alright, it's a little bit more expensive than I thought it was. But you know, fucking hell. That's honestly, I'm I've got my time out of it so far. I'm pretty happy to be playing it. It's it's, it's weird. I wasn't expecting this much of, of a game out of, you know, a game called Stray. Um, especially this early on. But anyway, if you all enjoyed, uh, let me know. Until next time everyone, I've been Rumi. And thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah, uh, don't come to Australia. <laughs> kind of fucking sucks here. <laughs>